Hi guys and welcome to How's It Rate. My name's Chico and I'll be your host today. Today I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, it's going to be a two-part uh, series and what it is is I had a Christmas present I bought myself in June. So we're going to unbox it and that is part one. I just got it, haven't opened it, and I'm going to share it with everyone out there. So. Here it is. It is a Ninja 3-in-1 cooker. Um, I live in Florida. It's real hot around here and firing up that stove is hot. So I watched the infomercial on this a number of times and it wasn't that that sold me but I really think that it might fit the bill for me. I love using the slow cooker which this is supposed to do and um, the one cooking system supposedly will act like a stove top and everything else. So let's uncrate this thing and see what it looks like. I'm going to use my handy dandy little corkscrew here that are very inexpensive. If you guys want to know where to get them I can tell you. I got one in the car, I got two in the kitchen, I got one in the golf cart, I got keep one in my pocket and I even have one under my pillow for you never know you know. But corkscrew, bottle opener, it'll open beer, does everything. I love it. And a little knife for chores like this. So, let's take a peek and see what's in here. Let's cut the tape. Wow, that tape is a lot easier to cut than the band around a wine bottle. All right, whoops, right off the bat we got things falling out. Uh, some sort of a catalog, we don't need that. And look inside and save. Look inside and save. They're all trying, always trying to sell you something else here. You need that. Uh, something stuck to the thing here. Well, it doesn't look that important. Something about delivery. I think it might be if I want to return it, which I don't know yet. So, obviously, it's stuck under the tape. And we we'll get that out of there. Bingo. So we don't need that either. So let's take a peek and see what we got. Made in China. It's a ninja. I guess that's a good place to have it made. One thing that you expect to be made in China, and it is. So, so far it looks good. Doesn't look like the box has been damaged at all. Got a little bit of that. And wow, pretty impressive here. Let's see if we can slide it out. Crash bang, sorry about all the vibrations. Voila! And there it is. Upside down. Alright, pretty impressive box. Professional. Nice picture of everything. The Ninja. Rule the kitchen. Well, we'll see. Three-in-one cooking system. 30% less fat versus a conventional oven. Steam infused. Roast and baking. Fast one pot meal making. Serious programmable Slow cooker, okay. Oh, and it's sear, S-E-A-R-E-S. -E interesting, it means you can sear in it and then continue with your slow cooking. Triple fusion heat, bottom side heat, and superheated steam. Tastes great, saves time, less mess. Included, multi-purpose pan. Pretty interesting so far. I mean, you know, what the hell. Um... Steam infused roasting, uh, bottom side heat and superheated steam cooks 30% faster with less fat versus conventional ovens. Steam infused baking, use up to half the fat in your favorite cake mix, combination of steam infused and direct heat offers more moist, better tasting results and less calories. Fast one pot meal making, delicious family meals ready in 30 minutes, only 5 minutes prep time, everything ready at the same time. Tastes great. Saves time. Easy, non-stick pot cleanup. I mean, my goodness, it does it all according to the directions. Serious, again, with the S-E-A-R-I-O-U-S, programmable slow cooking. Sear using built-in stovetop before slow cooking. All-in-one appliance. Reheat meals in the same non-stick pot. Lock in the flavor. Again, I got this because I don't want to use that oven up all the time, and how bad can this thing work, right? So, so far, uh, the packaging is nice. It doesn't look damaged. 
let's see what we can do here. So we got another little tape thing to cut here. Cut that with our handy dandy wine opener. Pull the tab out. Lift it up. Lift it up again. Oh, all the pretty pictures. They got recipes. Fast pop. Fast one-pot meals, one-pot convenience, create delicious desserts, steam-infused roasting. It's all right there, as you can see. Pretty interesting. So, let's get to it. All right, I'm going to take this off the... Well, maybe I can lay it down. Oh, yeah, why don't we do that? All right, so, one layer at a time. One layer at a time. So, we're going to pull this out, I hope. Stop. Look, oh, there it comes. Little by little. Ah. I don't want to have to edit this out because I don't want to miss anything. So bear with me. I guess you can always skip ahead a little bit. All right, it's coming. Bingo! It's out of the box. Everything is out of the box. Rufus is over there wondering what the hell I'm doing. Probably thinks it's another. Uh, place for him to sleep. All right, so this first layer comes off, and what we have here, I think it looks like the lid in there, if you can see that, wraps up pretty well. The packaging is, is quite good. Um, more tape here. I think we can peel that off. Maybe. Yeah, looks like we're going to have to use our wine opener again. Gotta save the packaging in case it's going back home to China with all the mother ninja guys. I wonder what Bruce Lee would think of this thing. All right, nice lid, very light, black. Um, got a little vent hole in it, very light. Let's set that aside. Okay, some reading material here. See what we got. Wow, they really package this stuff, let me tell you. Alright, thank God you don't have to put it in the same package when you send it back. At least not all this little stuff. Alright, let's get cooking. Let's, we'll show you how. What is it? Okay, looks like it's got uh, some recipes in there and kind of directions on how to use it. We're not going to play with that yet today. Get rid of all these things with all the warnings on them. Three-in-one cooking system, and we have another booklet with a bunch of warnings, description of all the parts, um, some instructions. When's the last time you guys read instructions? Sometimes I do when it's really something complicated, but, you know, three-in-one cooker, how hard can it be? Don't quote me if something goes wrong. Set that aside. Inspire healthier living. Hmm. Okay. And what do we have? Ah, here we definitely have a lot of recipes. Of course, I'm probably going to try my own in here. Oh, here's one for ribs. Maybe we'll do that one sometime, huh? So, a little recipe book. And more packaging. squeeze them. You know, you ever do that? Love it. Especially the big ones. Okay, a little pan here. Doesn't look big enough to do anything with. I hope this ain't the man pan. Caution. Hand wash only, not dishwasher safe. And that's in two languages. So, uh, as you can see, it's like a little small cake pan or something. Very light. Feels non-stick. We'll set that aside. And, oops. ah, this must be the main, the main deal right here. Oh. Little rack here. This must be the roasting rack. You can see, not very big. 
probably hold a chicken though, but not a very big chicken. Not one of the steroids. Put that there, that's why I'm scratched. I don't know. I don't think I want to put that in there. And here's our main pan, I believe. Again. Oh, this is a pretty good size for a slow cooking pan. Not too bad. Very light. Now, what I have read about this thing is that these are non-stick, and people have really said that they really are non-stick, but very, uh, you have to be very careful not to use uh, metal utensils. So, so good, so much for that. I don't think we're going to need this thing anymore. By the way, I think these are even legal in California. 50 states I think they're legal in. I think. You never know. All right. Put the lid on that puppy. Here's the main event over here. Very well packed, as you can see. Very well packed. Okay. Nice looking unit. I'll hold it up to the camera in a minute. But very nice looking unit. Not too heavy. Um, oh, another warning. Do not pour water directly into unit liner. Pour water only in cooking pot. I'll bet you somebody did pour it in here. Of course, I wonder what it would hurt. Don't do it though. Okay. Um, caution. Hot surface. I'll tell you, it's not very heavy. Looks nice, doesn't it? Little dials there. Looks like it could be on a space shuttle. All right, right off the bat, not a very long cord. Uh, let's take the little wrapperini off here. I'll show you what I mean. But it's not bad. I guess it's okay. Countertop isn't going to be much wider than that. But you know, sometimes when you're uh, when you're doing it as a crock pot and you go to somebody's house and you want to plug it in, you know, it's on a table. Well, extension cord, right? That's why they make extension cords. Um, nice finish, aluminum, and on the front here, there's a big dial with some settings on it. I'll, I'll show this all up close in the next video when we actually do some cooking. It says uh, stove top, low, medium, and high, off, and then slow cook, low, high, and buffet, and then one um, notch that says oven. And this is a timer and oven temp. I'll tell you what. Looks pretty simple. I'll try and hold that up there kind of slow. You can see the, the big knob on the right. That's all the settings for stove top, uh, low and high and medium. And then it's also, or low, medium and high. And then it's also got the slow cooker settings and the oven setting. And the little knob to the, to the left of that other one, the big one, is the uh, timer and the temperature. Sorry, my face was hidden there, but I wanted to show that to you. So all in all, folks, um, packaging was very good. Doesn't appear to be any damage to the unit. Um, this little puppy goes in here, like so. Very nice. Looks pretty good. I mean, it's got enough capacity. I'm a bachelor. I'm only cooking for one normally. But as I say, if I go to a party or something and I have to bring something, and they always tell you to bring something. Um, this should feed enough people. I like that it's got that buffet setting. That was one of the reasons I purchased it. Um, I don't know how this vent is going to work for things. It, it looks a little large. It probably let out a lot of uh, steam if you're going to use it for cooking. So I don't know if it was it'd be something that I'd want to leave unattended in certain cooking modes. But uh, hey, let's give her a shot. You know what I'm saying? Give it a chance, Ninja. How bad can it be? I mean, look at that. Very fancy looking. Sure, sure beats how some slow cookers look. At least I'll look like I got something good there. And uh, we're going to give it a rip. So I hope you liked this uh, video. And if you did, stick around for when we use it. Uh, the first usage will be part two of this unit, or part two of this video, where we'll take a close up of the controls and um, we'll go through those as we cook. And then after that, I'm going to try and make up some recipes for it. 
I'm really not a big fan of taking raw pasta and frozen meatballs and sauce and putting them in here. With a little, I don't know if I like that. We may have to try it just to see how it works out. But I've got some other recipes I'd like to try. So until then, you guys have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.